Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel Mining Engineering. I am Satya Brother. In this video, we will see the Blastigen parameters. The controllable parameters of a blasting can be classified in three groups. A. Blastigen parameters which includes diameter, charge length, burden, spacing, etc. B. Physiochemical parameters of explosives which includes type of explosive, strength, energy, priming system and so many things. C is the time which includes delay timings and the initiation system. So what are the blast region parameters? The basic blast region parameters are height of pinch, blast hole diameter, drill length of blast hole, sub drilling, burden, spacing, charge length, stemming length. So what is the height of pinch? Suppose this is the open cast bench and this is the crest of the bench and this one is the toe of the bench. Then the vertical distance between the crest and toe of the bench is called the height of the bench. This is one open cast mine and these are the benches of this mine. Then this edge is called the height of the bench. The next parameter is blast hole diameter. So one drill hole has been drilled in this bench. Then the dia of the hole is called the blast hole diameter. This side view can also be seen from the top this is the free face this side is represented by this line the free face and this is the blast hole then the diameter of the blast hole is called the blast hole diameter this is one of the blast hole which has been drilled in the limestone rock mass for the blasting purpose. Next parameter is the drill length of blast hole. This is the open cast bench. One vertical drill hole has been drilled then this is this L is called the blast hole diameter the next one is the sub drilling this is the blast hole The L is the length of the blast hole. This extra amount of drilling that is below the floor level of the bench 
to the bottom of the blast hole is called the subdrilling. It is the length, subdrilling is the length of the blast hole underneath the floor level which is needed to break the rock at the bench height and achieve adequate fragmentation. In the case where the subdrilling is small, the rock will not be completely seared up at the floor level which will result in toe appearance. The next design parameter is burden. This is the same open cast bench scenario and this is the blast hole. This distance from the free face to the axis of the blast hole is called the burden distance which can be seen from the top view also. This is the free face level and this is the axis of the blast hole and the distance from the axis of the blast hole to the free face is called the burden. The burden is the minimum distance from the axis of the blast hole to the free face. Next design parameter each spacing. This is the top view of a bench. This is the free face. This is one blast hole. Along with this blast hole, there are more three blast holes has been drilled. Then the distance between two blast holes in the same row is called the spacing. The same scenario is also can be visualized in the front view. There are four blast holes. This is the surface level and this is the bottom of the blast hole and the distance between two blast holes in the same row is called the spacing. Next is the chas length and the stemming length. This is the open cast bench. This is the blast hole. And in this blast hole, some explosive charge has been provided. Then this length of the explosive charge is called the charge length. Charge length is the length of explosive charge inside the blast hole. And this T is called the stemming, which is the portion of blast hole which has been packed with inert material above the charge column so as to confine and retain the gases produced by the explosion, thus improving the fragmentation process. Thank you. Please like and subscribe to this channel.